The diary system has been a topic of discussion for centuries, with its meaning and implications evolving over time. A diary is far from a one-dimensional concept. In fact, it embodies historical significance, cultural values, economic considerations, and at times, even gender dynamics. I'll take you through the diverse aspects of a diary, from its traditional roots to the contemporary debates it ignites. So we have a side chick master over here. Okay, so maybe you didn't tell me because I say wise. Do you have side chicks? Yeah, you all lose that. Yeah. Ah! You know that for this guy to have a, to have a, his man, you know that for, for me to for, for all these ladies to have guys, yeah. they need to have you have you need to they need to share. There's not enough men. For you one man, share. for one man should have six six ladies. Ah, well, yes. 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 <laughs> that is statistics. Oh. It is not me. Even if you go to that, it is there. Mm. <gasps> it's wow. me. You need to have yeah one one man should have six so ladies. that every every woman would be married like every every man should marry like four wives yeah yeah that's lead it. it's not that, that it's, it's not that wide it's only like uh, yeah, there are many it's only like one point one so one man to one point something women yeah 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 because there's more women than men yeah so it's not like the ratio of one is to six yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. that many okay. it's like one to one point something one no, point. so ideally yeah, 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 yeah. everybody was to get married to one partner yeah there are women who would be single yeah because there's not just there's just not enough men right yeah so it's one point one something but no woman will accept a second wife no woman so you what normally happens is that the wife the first wife will leave and leave you to to marry the second woman yeah. and now this is a problem because majority of young women they don't want someone with nothing yeah, so, yeah. because if you have oh, nothing yeah. and then we hustle with you and then you have money then we start seeing other women you you will leave me and go to them and i struggle with you to 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 you know to get somewhere so yeah. most of the women they're looking for someone who already has the you got you know? the other money yeah so even if you bring another woman i don't feel some loss yeah. if you yeah. leave me i found you with everything of i'm course. just enjoying you're it just enjoying it you get there okay. Okay. Yes. So do, if you get married, do you have to pay a diary? Yes. yes. Uh, how does that work? Is it a, a certain number of... Um, is it money or animals or both? Uh, that you have to give to the father? Currently it is money because uh, before, for us, uh, we are Kikuyu. Okay. Kikuyu means we are one lag. Our, our, our culture is we are taking sheep and goats and whatever. Right. But currently we don't have this kind of... So the parents will count in this in terms of ma, in yeah. terms of cash. Yeah. Yes. So it's about cash. So if you have cash, that's the, that's part of the dollar. Okay. If you want, if your parents want twenty goats for you, they'll calculate the cost of each goat yeah. and then do times twenty. Yeah. And then you have to give them for the sure. Money. Oh, okay. Money. For sure. And how do they determine how many goats a woman is worth? Is it beauty? Is it education? No, it will depend. With in Kikuyu, every woman should be bought with ninety-nine goats. Oh. Every woman is every woman ninety-nine goats be, to be mad to be dowry for 99 goods okay but in nowadays like you go and find a father you will say for the 99 goods he'll count me to for like a hundred shillings or a thousand for yeah. every goat. Yeah. <laughs> so not necessarily the cost of the goat. yeah but the parent can say i'll i'll sell i'll be giving my girl yeah for 99 but goats but each cost like 1,000, so yeah. we pay 99,000. Okay. Or like 2,000. Yeah. Or some will say 5,000 for each, each goat. Okay. So okay. You, you have to pay that. But they're not at the same time. Okay. It comes in portions. Because I'm curious, like, you know, if you have like two daughters and they're both getting married, how do you determine how many goats one daughter is worth compared to another? They are all equal. They're they should, all equal. They should be bought with 99 goats. No, but when they get married, yeah. how do you determine how many goats you need to give to the family? They, sh they should be 99. For every woman? For every woman. Regardless of what she looks but like. But then, yeah, it regardless. Yeah. But then, 
you pay according like the parent can say i'll give you my girl for maybe say a goat is 10000 shillings yeah. right now yeah but then the parent says i'm going to give you for a thousand yeah. for every goat yeah. not the 10000 yeah. you pay you would be to pay 10000 to be very costly yeah but then he exempts and counts like a small amount for the same goat what if you don't have the goats and you don't have enough money to buy the goats can you still get married yeah you can get married but you should pay as you as you as time goes by you have to pay no, no, that, and if you don't is, if you don't you you don't give out your daughter yes that's oh. what the thing the you thing, give out your daughter if you don't and the guy who is coming to marry your daughter brings you dowry you yeah. take it and don't touch or eat anything yeah you take it and take, take it to whatever you are supposed to pay so you, you will always have a debt if you haven't finished paying the dowry you'll always have a debt to your wife's family yeah so if if your daughter comes to marriage age you have your, when you haven't finished that debt then whatever they bring for your daughter you are not allowed to touch not even a single chicken out of it wow. everything you have to take it to your father-in-law to yeah, clear yeah. that to clear that debt. that debt yes you cannot you can never eat that dowry if you haven't cleared yeah, yeah. and then in kikuyu culture you never fully pay dowry Every time you go to see your in-laws, you're supposed to like bring something as a token of appreciation yeah. every every single time. Yeah, for sure. Well, before in the Kikuyu culture, there was the main dowry and there was the Goshokia yeah. Mokwa. Like, because every time you brought uh, goats and, and cows when you're doing the dowry ceremony, you mm -hmm. bring them with ropes tied, right? Yeah. The animals they have. So you take the ropes with you, then every time you come, you have to bring that back the rope. Yeah. That's, that's the, like it's a, what is it called? Um, symbiotic. Yes, there's a, a there's an, no, not symbol. Symbiotic. What? Uh, give, uh, I give. Yeah. 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 So it's um. I give okay. you, but you don't take all. Yeah. You still give us something. Yes. Go okay. Back. Every time you you come, you have to bring back the rope. Yes. So the rope means the rope that you took when you brought the cows. Yeah. So every time you have to come back with it. Yeah. So it means you bring a little bit something every single time that you come. You don't come empty-handed. Okay. You always bring something. But it okay. doesn't mean that every visit, no, it means like you should arrange after maybe two, three years, a couple of years, come say hi to bring something. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't mean that if you're visiting for Christmas, what, what do you have to bring? No, no, no. Something. It doesn't mean that. But what do you guys say to people who will watch this from the US or Europe and say, it's not fair to say a woman is worth X number of animals. Love, marriage should just be free. You know, you shouldn't have to pay. Because some people will say you're paying for the woman. You know, it's but, not, yeah. it's not, but but you're this not is not about the woman. This is not paying for the woman. It's first of all, let let me ask you: Do you think it's payment for the woman? Do you think it's no. payment? No. no, no, I know, I know, I know. They're not going to think it's payment because that's their culture. Yeah. But if somebody is watching this from Europe, they will think or it's US payment. that it's payment. So that's what. I so that's what I want to know. If you don't do these things, they'll haunt you. If you if, don't do that, they will haunt you. You should have asked if I eat, I take the dowry and have not paid the dowry. Maybe I have two daughters. I they are getting married, and I have not taken anything to my in-laws. Yeah. If I take it, uh, maybe spend the money or whatever they give me. Yeah. It's going to haunt me. You'll okay. be haunted. You you can even die. So let's 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 twist the scenario a little bit. You have a daughter. Yeah. She's marrying a white person from let's say Germany. He doesn't believe in dowry, and that's not his culture. Mm -hmm. And he wants to marry your daughter, but he's not gonna contribute in that dowry because that's not his culture. <laughs> What's the expectations here? What happens? Okay, actually, I have a an, a, a real life example of that. I have a friend. She's Kenyan. She got married to an Italian guy. So the Italian guy doesn't have. They don't have those culture, right? Yeah. So he was like, "No, I'm not gonna pay for you. Like, pay, pay." Right. But she, because her parents said no. Yeah. Her parents said no. This is part of our culture. If you want to marry into our culture, then you have to respect our culture. And it's not you're not paying. It's a token of appreciation to the family, right? right? So you have to appreciate them because traditionally, when you married a woman, they came and become part of your family, the right. man's family. Right? Yeah. Even your kids will be named, uh, will be named into your family. She will change her surname to your family, so she becomes part of your family, right? right? So you have to show. A token as a uh, you have to show appreciation for their parents because they raised this person who you now you will take away from them and they become a family member right, right? so the parents say no we're not mm. gonna let you take her for, for without appreciating right. so this lady she had to go she had to go into a bank account 
get her own money and pay and pay but okay. so the parents could let her go right because they were like no we're not gonna allow yeah. you well you can go get married if you want to but we don't you don't have our blessings okay which, which in, a, in an african setting it's very important that you have the blessings the blessing of, of the your parents, parents when right. you get married yeah. unless it's for something very ridiculous right unless well, there's some instance and you're like you know what right i get it some things you but like but would you let your daughter get married in that scenario the the guy is from europe and he doesn't want to pay the dowry he doesn't believe in it but she really loves him. She loves him, but he does. He said, "I'm not paying because it's not my culture." Should, we should come into a consensus because these things you cannot learn from them. Mm -hmm. They will haunt you somehow. Yes. Yeah. You believe the gods. The gods are there. But that's your belief and that's your culture. Yeah. But if she's and marrying someone dream, from another, the gods are there. But people from other countries don't believe in that. They will say that's payment. They and should I, know they're, they're gods. <laughs> they don't believe. No. Cultures are different. I understand that. I'm African. I get it. But yeah. I'm telling you, someone from another continent may not see it that way, and they would look at it as payment, and they would say, "I'm not paying." <laughs> but you know, when you get in the, you, you, you have you have now visited this place. Yeah. You have to stay how we are staying here. When you go to Rome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you go to Rome, Roman. you have to do what rooms are doing. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't have me and buy me this Kenyaji, you so have you, to go. So I will not talk to you. You will not allow your daughter to be there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are you hearing this? He will not let. But, but remember. You, you have come now my way, because eh? they told me, you need to drink chai. I don't even know. Yes, I can drink chai, but mostly I like taking wine, some this wine in the morning. So we have come down, we are in the one lane. Yeah. But if you could have, uh, ah, what are the wheels? You I say no. China, <laughs> would, would you say no to? You would say no to the marriage? Okay, I would not say no, exactly. Because, for example, myself, I'm married to a Maasai. Yeah, a Maasai. Oh, yeah. Okay. From another tribe. So, we have the interculture. Yeah. I accept their culture, they accept mine. Yeah. So we come into consensus. The same way. If he comes from Europe or United States or wherever, China. Yeah. You come into consensus. You take their culture, they take ours. Yeah. That's way that's how we can always you, you try to balance them. things. We balance things. Yeah. Because okay. you know, if you are if you go to now you are going to Ivasha, you meet fish there because there is a lake. Mm. Now here you have to eat madodo. Madodo means beans because you don't have a lot. You don't have fish here. Oh. You don't have so fish you have here. to accept what you is have to here. Otherwise you, you, have have you die if you don't eat. You are, you are staying there. It's for... very different. Yeah. See, in in the US, if you get married and you're American, your parents are paying for the marriage. Yeah, well here it's very different. And here's the opposite. Yeah, here it's you... the guy who's coming to marry Not you. Not even there. Who's I was in India. I have been in so many countries. Ask him. He's my yeah. brother. So I know about so many countries. If you go to India, I really will hunt you. She's the one who is coming to us, whether you want to marry or whatever, or whatever. But in here in Africa, we are different. So you have to accept wherever you are living, because that's the culture. And their culture, you have to accept it. Otherwise, you have to leave. Because what do you it is do? Just what a man is. You have to respect, basically. You have to, you have to respect people's have to culture. Pay. Even if you don't agree with it, if yeah, you're going you going to marry into it, you have to respect people's you culture. Agree, you, have but pay, you have to pay the dowry to show that you are strong. You are going to feed the woman. Okay, I have a problem with this because I believe when you get married, right, you're building a new family. Uh -huh. And if your daughter gets married to a German man, she will probably take even a German name, a German citizenship, and maybe move to Germany. Uh -huh. So he has absolutely no obligations to follow and respect African traditions. It's nice if he does, but I don't think it's fair to tell a, a man, hey, respect this because but that's the way we do it. I do not it. agree with the will follow, she, will she but go, I disagree with the respect. Will she go yeah. and not return back to their place? Oh, of course like, she will like, return. Like a slave, like you've been bought, your, you've been taken away from mm. your place, you're going to, you'll never come back. Yeah. Look at it this way. But to keep the connection going, you have to pay yeah. so that we can. We can create the family, yeah. the, the extended family. Yeah, that's where you should pay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dowry is important. Look at this. <laughs> look, look at it this way, Ivan. So you, 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 a German man, you are coming to marry an African girl, she go to Germany and probably take up whatever you know the German culture and everything. Yeah. But you have found me at 25 years old, 28 years old, 30 years old. For me to get to 30 years old, yeah. someone did the work. Yeah. You know, you didn't find yeah. me at, in my infantry. You of found course. me when I that. So someone did the work. Yeah. You might not like the work. They, you, don't, you might not like how they did the work, but you have to uh, respect the fact that they did the work. Okay. Because otherwise, you you wouldn't have liked what you saw. Yeah. 
for you to like what you saw yeah. at 30 you have you have must respect right. that someone did that right. work right? right so you don't have to agree with it you don't even have to follow with it but respect is paramount right. Right. you know so even if you don't believe in diary and my parents who put in the work so you like what you see yeah. say they need their dowry you need to show you don't need to do the 99 goats for example like you said but you need to show a token of appreciation say well in my in my country bring snaps yeah. snaps for example so i bring this amount of goats talk to them nicely because most of the parents here now they're more liberal it's yeah. not like in the traditional days where they'll be like 99 goats or nothing yeah. now they'll be like okay we can do these 10 goats and just as a token of appreciation you know, so bring the ten gods and you snaps, which okay. is part of your culture, yeah. Yeah. and then that's it. You know. Okay. Right also, I wanted to say something else for those girls who end up not married. Yeah. In my culture, which is traditional culture, which we are from the same tribe. Yes. If you don't end up getting married, you have to pay dowry for yourself. If you don't get married, you have to pay dowry for yourself. If I never get married, I need to pay dowry for myself. You to dowry for your daughters. You have to pay for yourself, like yes. you said. Now, if I never get married because my parents raised me, they need appreciation, then I have to pay dowry. So for you myself. have an obligation to get married. No, no. If I if I choose not to get married, right? Because my parents they want they they need that appreciation, right? So in Kikuyu traditional culture, if I don't get married or if I got married and my husband did not pay for my dowry something and we divorced, I need to pay dowry for myself. So so basically if you have to pay dowry for yourself because you're not married, it, it seems to me that you are you have an obligation to get married. No, you don't need to get married. The, the issue is not the marriage, yeah, the issue yeah. is the dowry. You should have been married. Even if you choose not to but get married. But then you are never married. Yeah. Or something got on the way. You got divorced. Maybe your husband died even before your you paid dowry, died, yeah. you know? You have to pay the dowry you to your parents. To the because the dowry Because at some time you have to eat the dowry for yeah. your daughters. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So you cannot eat dowry when you have not picked dowry. Okay. All right. But so what, 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 what do you think about uh, this tradition? Is it okay or? I'm from Cameroon, so I totally understand for you, it. For, you, what you for me, so what I have mixed feelings about this. Mm -hmm. I, I totally understand the returning the favor to parents for raising your soon-to-be wife. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I believe that a foreigner should not be forced to follow this tradition if he does not want to. Because you become the head of the household in your new family, and your wife traditions don't necessarily have to be yours. Uh, you but know, how do you create confidence in the in, in, in Because in you could be Muslim, that, that and we, you could be Muslim. You could be Muslim from Sa but you could be Muslim be from. Safe. Yeah, but you could be paying a diary does not mean your daughter will be safe. It's just no. respecting a tradition. It's a, we create some confidence. Yeah, this guy can provide. But do, can you marry this guy? Your wife could marry, your daughter could marry a man who's Muslim from Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And he tells her, I would like you to convert into Islam. Yeah. And she says, yes, you may not like it, but then these are completely different traditions, right? Yeah. So whose tradition are we going to follow here? The wife's parents or the husband, the soon to be son-in-law? I think in -law that husband? is a very different argument, the one you're bringing But up. that's what I'm saying is that you can't, you can't expect a foreigner to necessarily follow customs that they don't want or feel comfortable But you see... We have said according to our tradition, dowry is a lifetime thing, right? As a as a foreigner, we might exempt you from the lifetime thing. Just do it once and finish, right? Because yeah. you're a foreigner, you might yeah. so this is compromise. Yeah. Because in every situation there has to be compromise. You can't just come as a foreigner because you're a foreigner and say no. Yeah. Your culture is nonsense. No, no, I just yeah. 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 you as a foreigner, you have to show some sort of respect to yeah. because then your culture is not any superior to my culture, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 So because I'll come to Germany, I'll have to adopt to your culture and yeah. live with your culture and yeah. respect your culture. Yeah. So even you are obligated to show respect to my culture. Yeah. So you might say, okay, I do not agree with this whole diary thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pay this whole. I'm not going to do the lifetime thing. Yeah. Like you said, you need to come back every time and do something. No, I'll do it once. Yeah. And I'm not going to do 99 goods. Right. Maybe I'll do half of that. Yeah. And that's it. There's but saying all frankly, no to it, like I'm not even... Yeah, I mean, I, mean like, I, think, I think most people who are reasonable will say, you know what? I'm okay contributing into this. Mm -hmm. But you can have someone who's saying, I don't believe in diaries. It's just yeah, not my thing. I you know? So. I think if, yeah. if I was dating someone and he said, oh, really, no, just like that, I don't even think I'd date you anymore, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't think. And I'm a very liberal person. Yeah. And I would like to think I'm very liberal. Mm. And I like, I have mixed feelings about diary. Yeah. Because 
I like that you show appreciation to the family because <laughs> maj- to be honest, majority of the people when they get married, they sort of belong to yeah. the other family. Okay. This is this is the, the reality, right? Yeah. So I, I like that you show appreciation to my parents, yeah. but at the same time, I don't like in some aspects it's, it's been very commercialized. It's all about the money. Yes. Yeah. So I don't like that, right? So I'd like to reach, reach. Let's reach a compromise, right? Okay. But if you just came out and said that is what we're your culture, no, no, I'll be okay. like, ah, let's end this thing no, right here. It's, it's interesting to hear this. There are women out there who say, I mean, you haven't paid for me. You you don't have the right to hit me. So men will also be pushed to pay because they know it shows. I actually own you. So for you guys, paying a diary shows respect for the culture, yeah. and it means that your your daughter can can be trusted with that man. Yeah. Second, you are taking our daughter for to your maybe your country. Yeah. You she will bear you siblings. Keep kids. Kids, mm-hmm. and you know, yani, she's she's like going away from us. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. She's going away from us. But we don't want to lose the connection. Okay. All right. That way, that way you keep on coming. Then you go and stay. Then you come again. Pay something. Be together. We have okay. a family issue. Like that. Okay. It is like family connection. Yeah. Family connection is what? Our relationship has become bold. It is, it, it is very strong. Because it isn't about money or dollar or whatever. But that this one. means... Eh? Me, this means a connection between me and you. Okay. All right. So guys, uh, let me know how you feel. If you believe in diaries or not, is it right or wrong? Would you follow the diary system if you are a foreigner from another country trying to marry a woman that's family requiring a diary? Let me know in the comments below. So we're about to head out to the next space. trying to eat some of the machomas and we don't know where the heck they are so we just parked in this beach location and uh, there's a bunch of school kids out here there's school buses we have to walk around the beach and try to find a place to eat are you sure we're gonna find something here yeah I might have to eat you guys because there is no I'm way starving. we are starving over here man yeah. wow you should ask her so we don't have to walk around. Let's just go to the beach and then okay. see if we'll see anything there. So this yeah, area is called Navasha, well check it, check it right? Naivasha, yeah. Naivasha. Naivasha. We are about a two hours away from Nairobi yeah. when it comes to the drive. Yeah. So that's what's going it's on. Close. It's a very happening town. Yeah. This is uh-huh. where all the people from Nairobi come for the for the weekend yes. to just chill and unwind. Yeah. Because as you can see, it's next to the lake. Yeah. This is a lake and it's very green, calm, serene here. All wow. That, all that good stuff. Very but you're nice. here on a weekday, so it's less busy. Yeah. On a weekday, this place would, on a weekend, this place would be like crowded. It would be insane. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah, no, this is, this is the beach with that sand. <laughs> but this is the lake, so that's why it's not. So if you come to Kenya and you don't want to go to Mombasa, this is another option. No, 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 no? way. No, Mombasa, the beach and... This is not even a beach, this is just something next, next uh, to the lake. If you go so to the, the beach, the, Momba, the beach in Mombasa is an actual a beach. A natural beach. There's no comparison. Oh. This is just uh, something by a, a body of water. A body of water. Yeah, that's what I would call it. Okay. This is not a beach, this is just um, a place by the water. And you have a lot of kids here uh, from a school. You can see them wearing the uniforms and stuff like that. That's so that's what's going on. But do you do you think we're gonna find the machomas out here? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, we are going to find here. But I don't think so. If you have fish and uh, other things, the machoma, I think they don't allow because of the fish. Uh, they're going to sell the fish. If we bring, bring the machoma. So we're gonna have to leave here and go somewhere else. To yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to leave from here. We go to another place up there. Yeah. We'll get the machoma. Okay. But we need plenty, not a one single yeah. machoma. We need different, different places, ones. So. so we can make a better selection. Yeah, yeah. 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 Because the last time I ate some with him, we were at a different market, and it wasn't that good. It was kind of dry. It was not good. They yeah. They prime it. Yeah. So that's what we're trying to see. We're trying to see some things. But we'll get a goat one, not a cow one. Yeah. The goat is the better. The, the goat is the yeah, better. Yeah, right? Cow, not so much. No, it will not be good because it, cow is a bit fat. Yeah. But the goat, it's a bit tasty. Yeah. Uh, a lot more cow. meat than yeah, fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So, so we will not get for the cow. We are going to get for the goat. Okay. All right. 
Let's walk by the water over here. So I think there's some kind of school school trip. Yeah, because you have a lot of students over here with their uniforms. So yeah, this is not a beach, but this is apparently the getaway when you want to get out of that road before the weekend or something. This is the place that you come to. You basically chill out here. They have like a, a pretty decent nightlife from what I'm hearing. A lot of people from... Yeah, yeah. It's live out here, right? Yeah, it is lovely. And a nice place nice 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 so it would be good to show you some of that content we'll see what we end up doing you have all these people here having a good old time hello, hello guys how you doing my friend how are you good good you what's your to name hip -hop? my name is steven steven yeah. steven i'm ivan nice to meet you brother where are you from i'm from cameroon cameroon yeah me i'm from cameroon too <laughs> <Bonjour>. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you're not from Cameroon, man. Yeah. You know, you know. You're from Kenya. What part of Kenya are you from? I'm from this place. Yeah. Yeah, Russia. I see a lot of people here, man. What's going on? Uh, there are students. Some students who are uh, coming for a tour. And uh, workers. I'm, uh, I have so many workers here. Fishermen. We have uh, boat riders like yeah. me. We have so many. We have also a lot also going there. on. But what I'm noticing is all men. There's no women here. What's going on with that? Many fishermen are men. Not, not many. All of them are men. But even the people visiting, the students, is all men. This is a boys' school. Oh, only boys. that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. I know some of you guys, when I see the ladies, sorry, this is not going to be that footage here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all men out here. The, the, the seller there is a lady. Yeah, that's the only woman here is the yeah. seller. You know, everybody else is a man out here. Yeah. So we are looking for Nyama Nyamachoma. Nyamachoma. Yeah, Nyamachoma. Nyamachoma yeah, maybe there. Maybe, but he's, he said we uh, want a place. From this one. Yeah. We want we a need place. A plenty of them, not a single. Not just shop. one single. We, we want to see where they have several we shops. We normally see it at Kikopei, the way normally, we normally see it at Nyamachoma. Not a single. We need plenty of them. Maybe, maybe, maybe Kikopei. Kikopei is a bit far from here. Naivasha, Naivasha, we don't have that place. That kind of a place, maybe one butchery, then you can see. Oh, yeah. uh, How do you normally live here? Because all the way from Nairobi, you get plenty of them, but when you come to Naivasha, even the town you have not organized it. Because we have tried to get Namachoma. Yeah, man. We've been, been driving quite a bit. You know Namachoma in Naivasha? No, no, no. What? Maybe in town, but only one butchery, man. Then we we'll go. We have far. seen that Not, in man, town. Uh, even we have reviews those one, one, one. Yeah. We needed plenty because one will sell you what he has. Uh, Maybe it's a sleep over. Uh, not, not here, yeah, man. Not such things. Wow, wow. It's tough when you can't find Yamachoma in Navasha. That is tough. Yeah, don't even if I drive from Nairobi to Mombasa, yeah. every stopover will get three or four. Machomas. It's only in Navasha I've seen there is one. Oh, yeah, yeah, you no, are trying to sell us fish and we don't take fish. Yeah. You don't eat fish? I do, but we prefer we prefer the meat. Yeah. And you maybe Kamakis. Kamakis, that is Nairobi where we are. Yeah, we just came from Nairobi. And if you don't mean Nairobi, Nairobi we have more. And Nairobi, I know. So town center we have yeah. city market. Yeah. Kenyatta market. Yeah. Kangemi, yeah. Kawangware, yeah. Dandora, yeah. Uruma, yeah. Chamaiko. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have all of those, those things and zero, yeah. the biggest one. Yeah. Kamagi is, it has come just the other day, yeah. but it's the biggest right now, yeah. and the Kiamburo. Yeah. But here, yeah, you, you guys, you know, you, you, you need to make down. your own business here. Yeah. Yeah. Get something, you do that. Wow. So what do you do here? Do you work here? Yeah, I work here. Uh, what do you do? I'm a boat rider. Oh, uh, you take people on the boat for different tours and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can't do that now because our stomachs are empty, man. We are uh, too hungry. Yeah, we need some yamachomas, man. Yamachoma, we, we will go there. Okay, we can go take a look over there and see. Yeah. So I'm gonna get. Let's get closer to the boats over there, and then we go back. What about the yeah. boats? How much? When I but, come here, I normally pay less money because I'm a Kenyan. Me, I'm not a foreigner. Yeah, so how much How much are the boat ride? Maybe we have a ride of 3,000. 3,000 Kenyan shillings, yeah. okay. We have 4,000. 4,000. 5,000. 5,000, okay. Okay, so different. What's the different? What makes the different, the different prices? Is, uh, duration. The duration. The duration of the ride. Yes. And, uh, maybe if you want to go to the Crescent Island, yeah. you'll pay more. And then if you want to take a walk, you'll pay another 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 fee. Okay. Walk. Okay. Yeah. If you want to adjust a boat ride, 
it's cheaper. Cheaper. So you say, uh, if what's, what island is over there? Crescent Island. It's Crescent, a, Crescent Island Game Sanctuary. Crescent Island. What's yeah. over there? Yeah, there are, there are plenty of animals like giraffes, zebras, wild beasts, gazelles, gazelles impalas. We have so many animals there. Oh. Yeah, even if you want to see a python there, there, there you can find one. A Iana, python? Yeah, uh, ostrich. They have, uh, even you ostrich. say python? Yeah, there's a python there. Uh. They'll show you on their, on your, on their menu. If you want to see them, uh, the guide will take you there. Oh, so he's caged? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. All right. And uh, you pay? Yeah. Yeah, you pay for a foreigner, for a non resident. They charge uh, 3,800. For a Kenyan, they charge 800. For a resident, they charge 1,200. So, as a foreigner, you end up paying three, three almost four times the price. Yeah, almost four thousand. Man, that's crazy, man. Yeah. I'm Kenyan. I just don't have my ID with me. If you don't have an ID, you will have to pay three thousand eight hundred. But no. if you have like a picture, of the ID will pay one thousand. I'm from Nyabahanze. That's my village. Nyabahanze. Nyabahanze, you call border Kenya. Oh, Boha, the border Kenyan border. Yeah, that's where I'm from. I'm from Nyabahanze. Nani bona yangu is my husband nani ki produce bana tsatukeye tete. Yeah, if, you, if she if she manages to produce the ID. Ah, the ID. Ah, the ID. I have a picture of my ID so if I have a picture of my ID then he can work for both of us. Oh, here we go. For husband. family it can work. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. But if you are not a couple it cannot work. All right. Yeah. That's expensive, yeah. man. Yeah. So nah, nah, we, we are a couple but we, but he, but he we are a couple but he also has a ch side chick. So yeah. he has a side chick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can have uh, everybody has a side yeah, chick in Kenya. Yo, <laughs> 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 man. Uh, it's too funny. Yeah, well, and you? It's not going far. Do you have a side chick? So many. Yeah, so many of So many side there. chicks. <laughs> Welcome to Kenya. Everybody in Kenya has a side chick. Welcome to Kenya. Everybody hey. has a side chick. Yeah, that is I'm funny. Many, uh, yeah. You know your wife will watch this if you have a wife. You know they will watch this. And you know you, you know you'll be single. No, 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 no. She'll think it's a joke. Huh? She'll think it's a joke. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just for the disclaimer, they just say you are joking. I'm joking. Uh, I'm joking, honey, I'm honey, I'm baby. Not, I'm baby. not married, but I have a girlfriend. I'm joking. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> baby, baby, I'm joking, honey, I'm joking. You know? That is funny. <laughs> But yeah, one. right now we just want to eat. So, what place do you recommend us to go for the Nyamachomas? <laughs> they have told us there is no Nyamachoma in the Ah, kuna ile atau ni mchuli ona. He is telling us one. Eh, where to the two apple? Juna taka one. Eh, jamba. Okay, let's go. Let's go. All right. Where is our friend? I don't know. I don't know. What? What? We don't know where Priya went. She disappeared. She was vlogging around and she disappeared. So I'm gonna I'm gonna text her and see until I'll be leaving. Let us check. This is Navasha Lake. This is not a, a beach. But fresh water lake. This is a fresh water lake. This is fresh water lake. Yeah, you can have the water, you can drink the water. Yeah. And there's a lot of people in this lake actually. Yeah. They come out in the evening. Yeah. The last time I was here I saw one. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. And hippos are very aggressive. Wow, you got hippos out here? So many of them, yeah. You have Jeez. so many hippos. They come, they come out in the evening, and uh, if you if you're not careful, they can tear you into two. Yeah. Yeah, they can tear you into two. Cool grandkids, they have gone there in order to. <laughs> yeah, they come and visit. It's just, uh, and I said they're all males. They told me yeah, it's a male school, men only school that is here. Yeah, that's school. why there's no women. It's a boys school. Yeah. yeah. This is very. That's actually very common here. Yeah. In high school, in many people they go for primary school. They go to day schools. Yeah. And then in high school, almost everybody goes to a boarding school. Yes. In Kenya. And uh, majority of them are like either girls' school yeah. or boys' school. So oh. I was in an all girls high school oh. for four years. There's a, a few of them that are mixed boys and girls, yeah. but majority of them are either boys' schools or girls', girls schools. School. Yeah. Okay. All right. Majority, I think 80% of Kenyans have gone to boarding schools in high school. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing. Wow. Very, very just in high school, just go to boarding school. Boarding school. Yeah, it's a thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. We've been driving looking for these, um, you know, Nyamachomas for a minute here. And uh, if you come in here, it's to relax, but definitely not for the Nyamachomas. I think Nairobi wins that battle. Oh yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of Nyamachoma spots in Nairobi. Yeah. Nyamachoma is like a national meal for those of us, for those of you who don't know. When you come to Kenya, 
It is a cardinal sin to live without having tried nyamachoma, nyamachoma ugali, and kachumbari. It goes that way. So ah. nyamachoma is the protein, uh, ugali is the carb, and kachumbari is the vitamins. Because we always eat balanced meats here ah. in Kenya. Balanced food. It's very yeah. common. If you look at our, meat, our food, it always has starch, vitamins, and what? Protein. And protein. Yeah, so okay. you, you are going to see the whole process. All right. mm. Sounds good. Let's go so get delicious. it. Let's I'm just ahead. salivating. Just think of it. I, I just, know. Oh, <laughs> I know. I'm just alleviating just from the thought process, guys. Yeah. First of all, I'm very hungry, and secondly, it's nyama choma you're talking about. <laughs> so that combination, lethal. Amazing. <laughs> and look at these trees; they don't have any like green. Like they're all dried or burned. What happened here? No, no, no. The water. Is the what? The water. Is the water that's killed? The way the water pushed everything here. Yeah, but like the water enters to the trees; they get dry. You can see how the water. During COVID, in During 2020, COVID, 2020, I think 2021, yeah. the lakes in the Rift Valley, the, the level of water rose, rose for no reason. Yeah. They just rose. They came, they came all the way to Because you can see the ones, all the trees here along yeah. here. They dried because the, lane, the water level was here, but now it's moving back slowly. So because of the water, it killed, basically killed the trees. Yeah. Because you see those trees in the, in the, in the lake there? It used yeah. to be land, all of that. Wow. Can you see the trees that are dying? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it used to be land, all that. But because the water came, in so far the, tr the trees they're not meant to be underwater trees you know? that long yeah, yeah. so it's wow it's that is very sad what happened here but now wow. they're slowly moving back wow we changed our minds about nyamachoma it's just not the time so we're gonna try to get some fish right now hey we were gonna do fish but we're going to get fish here first you're gonna get fish first yeah can we eat ugali? What's that? Ugali? What about yeah, it? It should be a camper. It's traditional Kenyan food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what it is. I'm saying, did you did you have it already? No, I just asked her. She said she's, uh, they do serve ugali. Okay, all right. We're going to choose a fish and they're going to deep fry it. Oh. So, this is the different uh, options here. So, is that the fish? Yes. Okay. So, that's the fish. So because she was talking to her earlier, I want to see what oh the different options. Okay. Okay. What about this one? This one is lapia. This one is catfish. Catfish. It's fresh. So. And this one is salmon. Okay. Yes. All right. So you know I do that one right here. This one. This one. Yeah. Are you the one uh, deep frying it? Okay. Good to go. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, we have different kinds of fish. In it, tilapia? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so in in in, in, in a can, in your car. Catfish. Catfish. Yeah, in a can, it has, it has a beard. You can... <laughs> yeah, Is it's, it it's still alive? alive? Yes. Oh, ah! my goodness. Did you guys see that? It moved. It's still so alive. It, whoa, look at that. It's, it's moving, it's breathing. No, uh, we're, we're that's, moving. That's how, you know it's fresh when the fish is still moving. It's still alive. What's the name okay. of this one? In it, tilapia. Okay. Sasa, in how much? Uh, this is her 200. Hey, mother, like in Sangia Bay. That is for you, how much? Wow, poor fish. We are about oh, to eat you, buddy. We are about to eat you. Wow. This is 200. You know, let me see. Uh, you know, it's fresh when the fish is still moving. This one is long gone, it seems like. The tilapia. This is the one. This is the what, what kind of fish is this one? Catfish. Catfish. Yes. Okay. That's for how is much? it is it good? Yes. Okay. The catfish is still alive. I can feel him moving in my hands. <laughs> you know, I feel bad. I want to put an end to his misery. So this is the one I'm going to eat actually. I will eat the catfish. This is mine. Yes. <laughs> All right. So we can kill him fast. He's suffering too much. He's suffering too much. <laughs> Wow. Do you eat fish? No. Oh. But no I would fish. be watching you preparing it. So you're just gonna it. have ugali? Yes. Ugali. <laughs> what else? No. Of course I would want to have ugali. But you need ugali with something else. It's just like it flour. No. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian. You you are so excited about the catfish. I'm, I'm gonna eat the catfish. You're gonna eat the catfish? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna get the tilapia. you do you eat catfish as well? No fish for you. <laughs> I'll be just what, what is Evan sitting? Evan, Evan, where is the air? Evan. I'm going to me. 
You have to choose a fish. So which one would you like? And they're gonna fry it. You the one frying the fish? Down there. Okay. So Evan, choose the fish, please. Let me choose this one. I mean, tilapia, okay. right? Uh, tilapia. Tilapia. All right. And that's mine. Yeah. Is it dead now? Is it dead or? Oh, she just she finished them. He had eyeballs and eyes earlier. Now he has no eyes. What did you do to the fish? Oh. <laughs> How much is a catfish? How much is a catfish? Oh, that's mine over there. How much, How much is the catfish? 300. 300? Okay. Did you pick the one he wanted? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. That's good. We we good. We good. All right. So now, the second part of this process. Wow, they're torturing him. That's too bad. <laughs> Right. Okay. 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 She's gonna fry right now? Yeah, she's gonna fry. Trying to see if we can witness the process. The deep frying process. Let's go. Let's go watch that. A donkey. There's a lot of donkeys out here. Yeah, and they can kick you. And they can kick. They do the back. <laughs> so you pick your fresh fish. Mine was still moving. And then they, they cook it for you. It doesn't get any fresher than that. Does not get any fresher than that. So guys, on this side, this is where they actually do the frying. After you pick your fish, the lady escorts you to the kitchen. You actually don't have to be part of that. You can just go sit over there and wait or sit over here and wait. But I want to show you guys some raw footage of the process. We're going to go deep in the back in the kitchen area where everything is done. Here we go. So let's uh, go ahead and watch what's going on. Wow, look at the different birds over there witnessing what's going on. But you need to pick uh, something to eat as well. Because you're not going to eat the fish, so... There's nothing in the vegetarian. So the ugali, also they are have fishes along with the ugali. Yeah. So you're going to have ugali with what then? Just ugali alone? No, then I'll have it in some other restaurant where there's only... Okay. Yeah. Whoa, you see? That's why you have so many birds over here, because they're actually feeding them the inside. Yeah, the catfish. Yes, this is my food right here. Would you still be able to eat it? Absolutely, I will be. I'm excited to see how. You should take a bite, you know, just to see it. If you like it, you know, just a little bite. Maybe someday. Not today. <laughs> yeah. She's a vegetarian, so she cannot eat anything here. Look at them. Oh my God. She's throwing wow. some of the rest left of us to the. To the. Yeah. Whoa! Look at these things. Uh. Wow. This is a wild. Wow! Look at how he's swallowing all of that. Look. Wow. Can I see that? I can see that. Wow. It's insane, right? Wow. And then he's gonna store it all in his pouch. Wow, look at this thing. Stop what kind of birds are these? Marabusta. Marabusta? Yeah. So they look like crows. No, no, no. No? No, no. no crows are small and, well, these this are some ugly bandons of ostriches. Like flamingos, maybe. Oh, absolutely. Flamingos. Oh. <laughs> okay. So you see. She opened the head, cut it up, threw it at the birds, and now she's just cutting the fish, making sure that all the slices are there. When they're about to season the the whole fish, they're gonna deep fry it, actually. I'm super hungry, but they said this is gonna be a fast thing, so I don't know how fast is it really gonna be. I don't know, we'll see. All right. Now she's cleaning up the fish, making sure she removes all the different things. They're very fast and efficient with this. 
very quick process. It would take me hours <laughs> if I had to do it myself. So that's uh, the traveling mist fish right there. That's, they're cleaning up right now, the tilapia. If you're just keeping the fire going by replacing some of the wood, so you see she has the fish on this side and then she's gonna make ugali on the other side over there and uh, the fish that I chose is actually over here this is the catfish whoa that big bird flew above my head he's looking for food wow that thing is so big Look how she's balancing the pot, guys. Now, that takes some skills right there. So we can't wait to actually see when she actually makes the ogale. Now, with the temperatures, you see, if the fish was alive, it's definitely gone now. If it, if it survives that temperature, it deserves it to be. It deserves to be alive, yeah. <laughs> the catfish head, you threw away the head. Yes. But the head of the tilapia is still it's there. Still Why there. did you throw yeah, away right. the catfish I'm curious head? about that. Yeah, catfish But your tilapia is still so she's saying you can't eat the catfish head, but Why? you can eat the tilapia one. Why is that? has no meat. Oh, it's just hard like that. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. So now she's about to do the the catfish. Okay. Wow. It's gonna cook pretty fast. Like you were saying, it doesn't yeah. take much time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't wait for the ugali though. Yeah. I'm very curious to see how they'll balance that part. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we are watching now the process of the, the, the ugali process now. And I want you guys to pay attention at this part, the way she's balancing it with the rocks. Boiling over here. So this is how you make ugali. This is ugali being made right here, guys. Yeah. And then you have the fish on this side. Wow. So I see ugali is just literally flour or hot water? It's just hot water. You boil it, then you put flour inside. That's it? That's it. And wow. then you mix it, you mix it up. But let me tell you, it is the most popular meal in Kenya. Yeah. If you say something bad, bad about ugali, we are deporting you. have a you. problem. We are deporting you wherever really? you're from. Back, no questions asked. Go back to your country. Whoa. Yeah. So that's how you make ugali. I thought it was a lot more complicated than that. It's literally just flour or hot boiling water. And that's it. I'm gonna have to try that when I get back home. I can see how she's managing. But she's also struggling. She's struggling because of the balance here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. With the two rocks keeping the pot in place right there. <laughs> If one of those rocks was to give, she would lose the whole gone. ugali. <laughs> Our ugali is gone! <laughs> Let me tell you, I'll out. Oh, it's gone. Look at my catfish over there cooking. Wow. One thing I want to point out about these birds, they basically swallow the piece whole and keep it on their necks, okay? And then it basically gets digested from the neck and then it goes away. So you see that bird right there, you see how big his neck area is. It's basically dangling out of his body. And this one over here, not so much. So he's a little bit hungry and that one isn't. I was thinking this fish is already burned. Not so much, okay. All right. There goes my catfish. And Priya says she's gonna break her diet today and she's gonna have some catfish. No, Isn't that I'm right? I'm looking forward to seeing you having this catfish. <laughs> After watching it getting so hard. <laughs> Look at this catfish. What? Alright. So that's basically the process. This is the kitchen area. You got to see picking up the fish over there. We brought it over here. Made some uh, ugali, which is still processing right now. She made some fish. We had. Um, tilapia and catfish the catfish head you do not eat is nothing but bones but the tilapia head fish head you can actually eat and then you have the leftover that is being fed to the birds over there guys how do you guys feel about eating fish heads you know 
In the US, they do not eat fish heads. Yeah. They cut the head of the fish and toss it. So you go to the store, you will never see a fish head. Unless you go to a, a Latino or Asian market or African. But they're throwing away a lot of meat. Then. They don't eat that stuff. But neither do I, to be honest. They don't even bite the bones. And me, when I eat like beef or something, I'm like, ah, go all too. the way in. Me too. And get the bone marrow. They get the, the bone marrow. Is the most, hey, the most exactly. Part of any meat. Uh, this is a real African right <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you know wow. it. That's what's up. All yeah, right. I can't wait for that food to get here. Yeah, me too. I'm hungry, thank So here we go. Let's wait. She's now cleaning our table. This is a full service restaurant. Right I know, right? Here. This is Michelin star. Alfresco. Fresco. Fresco. <laughs> On the air. That's right. We're dining al fresco. <laughs> the African way. The African way. But unfortunately, there might be a bird dropping. <laughs> oh, I hope not. Right on the foot. Man, I don't Spot want those spice. birds to. Oh, Spot heck no. <laughs> if a bird was to poop on my food, that would be the end of that food. I'm done. Oh, we have to go to West Africa. Because in West Africa, not West Africa, sorry. Why do I keep saying West Africa? Western Kenya, people there eat. Uh, nyamachoma yeah and ugali and then for the kachumbari they make this spice where they put good, good poop good poop we have to go there yeah. good poop it's part of the delicacy there okay not not the actual poop but when you slaughter a goat there's yeah. that um there's a waste in the inside the intestines yeah so they milk the intestines off of the waste yeah. and then they use it to make so which would have initiated which would have ended up being poop yeah so they use that to make um some sort of uh, sauce to eat wow. with the ugali. We need to go there. Yeah, There's a lot of things like happening there. She's been telling me about Western Kenya, yeah, man. It sounds like that's the spot. To nobody be. goes there. Wow. That's the thing. Nobody goes there, so we need to go there so yeah. we can so we can show so much more of the country that. Absolutely. Then just issues. Nairobi, right? Mm. All right. So tilapia. I, I need to use wipes tilapia to for them. Use the white packet I just opened. Yeah. I need to use wipes to. So clean I'm my just hands waiting for the world famous catfish. That I rescued. He was dying, and they kept him alive for a long time. I wanted to end his misery, guys. So here he is. He's ready now. Thank you so much. So now we have the catfish over here. So let's go ahead and hit ugali, and we'll be all set here. Mm. Mm. So now we get the, the um, ugali. Ooh, it's still burning my hands. Let me try one more. And uh. The ugali is really good. I feel like this one is just better than the other. Try the tilapia. Tell me more. Okay. Me we have a. Um, this is the tilapia. Yeah. Get a piece. Yeah. Try and tell me which one you think. Is All right. <laughs> you know what? I like the catfish more. Really? Mm -hmm. I like the tilapia more. I like the tilapia more. <laughs> okay, mm. let's stick to our lens. <laughs> let's stick to our lens. <laughs> okay. Again, don't disturb me when I'm eating. <laughs> Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's weird. I saw this thing alive, you know. <laughs> now he's just food. So inhumane. Would you eat something that you seen alive? You guys watching? Would you? <laughs> would you eat something you seen alive? Oh, we slaughter goats all the time and chicken. Wow. And we eat them. And we eat them so. Wow. For me, there's nothing new. Have you slaughtered a goat before? I haven't, but I've seen them being slaughtered. Too. Would you? Men, men are the, the ones who normally do that. Yeah. And then uh, I do the eating. You do the eating, okay. <laughs> okay. No All right, guys. So let me go ahead and enjoy my meal. And uh, I will also end this video here. If it's your first time on my channel, please kindly hit that like button, subscribe. And uh, I'm going to enjoy this fish here. And I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.